Uhuru friends and comrades. Welcome back to Reparations Wednesdays. This is part two of Calendar, Planner, and To-Do List Hacks. As I said in part one of this episode, we have some very special guests because last weekend was the USM National Convention of Make America Pay Reparations and I got to interview a lot of different comrades on how they keep their calendars, their to-do lists, their planners, and get stuff done. Now, on with the show. Welcome to Reparations Wednesdays, cooking and lifestyle hacks with Jackson. Uhuru, this is Jackson. I'm a proud member of the Uhuru Solidarity Movement. The Uhuru Solidarity Movement is the mass organization of white people working under the leadership of the African People's Socialist Party, organizing in the white community to win other white people like ourselves to a stand in principled material solidarity with African self-determination, national liberation, and reparations. Our job is to win white people to raise resources that go towards the African-led economic development and political programs of the African People's Socialist Party as a concrete expression of our commitment to reparations to African people. USM is the mass organization of the African People's Solidarity Committee. The African People's Solidarity Committee is a constituent organization of the African People's Socialist Party. The African People's Socialist Party leads the overall Uhuru movement, of which USM is a part. Uhuru means freedom in Swahili. The Uhuru movement is organizing and uniting African people around the world as one people to liberate and unify Africa and African people everywhere under the leadership of the African working class. USM is a mass organization of primarily white people and others who stand in solidarity with the Uhuru movement. USM builds events, fundraisers, outreach activities, speaking tours, and national campaigns to raise resources as material solidarity with the Uhuru movement's African community-led self-determination and economic development projects as a concrete expression of our unity with reparations. The USM three principles of unity are that one, we work under the leadership of the African People's Socialist Party. Two, we recognize that African people have the right to lead their own struggle. And three, we work in the white community for reparations. I am making this YouTube series as my reparations challenge, one of many fundraisers held by members and supporters of USM to raise reparations to African people. Now let's get started. Last episode, I gave you my calendar, planner, and to-do list hacks, as well as calendar hacks from Hallie Murray of USM and APSC. And now we're going to hear from everyone else I got to speak to at the USM National Convention, Make America Pay Reparations. So first, we have a video with Ali Aiello, and I uh, interrupted their uh, their dinner in order to interview with them for this, and they're very obliging. And Ali Aiello is the former National Secretary of USM and now stepping into the role of the um, International Office of Recruitment and Membership Coordinator, which is very exciting. And so Ali shares some tips and tricks for Google Calendar, for to-do lists, and for you know keeping things organized when you are secretary taking action items really useful information. Okay, so the way I keep track of things for events, I uh, go on Google Calendar and I keep track of all my events there and then for my reminders I use my phone um, and I ongoing reminders I put them in my phone and they come up every week and then for to-do lists, um, for just one-time things, I'll write them down on a piece of paper and check them off. Um, you can also get the Uhuru Planet, Planet Uhuru Calendar, uh, which is great. It has a whole section for action items, which is what I use um, sometimes. And as the secretary, um, I write down other people's action items and things that they need to do um, and that they need to get done. So in the, during the week, I'll write down the action items that you know everyone else needs to get done to make sure that I can remind them of what they need to do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ali. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely recommend using Ali's advice and setting reminders and alarms on your phone if you're a phone person. And next, we have an audio interview with Amanda Carlozzi, who is the new vice chair of the Uhuru Solidarity Movement and is also the national treasurer of USM and uh, also involved in the local level here in St. Petersburg, Florida. 
And so, Amanda, I would like to ask you, what are your calendar slash planner hacks that you would like to share with the viewers of Reparations Wednesdays? Ooh, Jackson. So one of the things I do is I make a to-do list every night of what I have to do the next day. Um, and then I also make lists for what I have to do within the next week. And I like to prioritize things. So anything that has to be done sooner, I like to do it first. And then anything that can happen later in the week, I do that later in the week. And I always organize it by um, topic. So if I have something that I have to do for my job, um, I put that under a list. If I have something that I had to do for school when I was in nursing school, I had a separate list for that. And then all of my Hura work I put together, and that way I could keep track of all different aspects of my life, um, including things like you know scheduling when you have to go grocery shopping or do your laundry and things like that. So to-do list. To-do list is my that's my secret. Uh -huh. Wonderful. So how do you arrange your to-do list? Well, I do prefer using a notebook. Um, I like writing things down by hand. Um, if I write it in a list on a Google Doc, I'm going to lose it and then I won't be able to find it again. But I always know that my lists are in my notebook, so I like to do that. Or um, I also use the notes option on my computer. Um, and I just have one note always open and that is a to-do list so that when I open my computer, it's the first thing I see. Definitely a lot of great tips and tricks from Amanda showing how you can get every aspect of your life organized and be productive. Anne Hirsch, who is the USM South Regional Representative and also the chair of the local branch of, of USM St. Petersburg, Florida, had an excellent tip about Google Calendar. Instead of just deleting an item or a task when she's done with it and it disappears forever, what she'll do is she'll change the title of the item or event and at the beginning of the title is she will put in all caps done so that way she knows when she has completed a task or item and she can look at back and see everything that she's done and know that she got to everything that she was supposed to do Jesse Neville who is on the Central Committee of the African People's Solidarity Committee as the National Chair of the Uhuru Solidarity Movement, shared some very great tips with me. Chair Jesse normally uses mainly Google Calendar and a notebook, but leading up to the National Convention this year, there was just so much going on that he made a Google Doc of everything he had to do, literally everything in his day and just would continually update it. And that's how he was able to keep track of everything and all the different hats that he was wearing and everything that he had to be on top of. Chair Jesse shared another piece of advice with me that I mentioned in my last episode that I would like to reiterate here because I don't think it can be said too much. And Stephanie Midler is of the African People's Solidarity Committee and is over the Uhuru Furniture Store in Oakland. And her advice that she gave to Chair Jesse Neville, that I got from Chair Jesse Neville, is that find a system that works for you, even if it looks ridiculous. It doesn't matter if someone else would look at it and be like, oh my god, I could never do that. If it works for you, do it. Now this may be easier said than done. A study from 2009 laid out that it can take an average of 66 days to form a habit. However, the range is 18 to 254 days. Now, this goes against the um, older view that it takes only 21 days to form a habit. And so this just highlights how each one of us is different and we have to just figure it out. The key is to not give up and just think, well, I can't be organized. You can be, you just have to find a system that works for you. And there's lots of advice um, in these two videos that I made, but also elsewhere. And again, you know, it may look ridiculous to someone else once you find what works for you, but if it works for you, it works for you. You'll hear a lot of motivational speakers say, well, we all get the same amount of hours in the day. We all get the same amount of time. But that's really, in a way, not true because African people, colonized people, their time is stolen 
all of the time by this parasitic system. I spoke a bit about it in my last video, but I want to delve a little deeper here. Afghan people are kidnapped from their families, from their communities, and forced into concentration camps called prisons, where they are forced into slave labor. And it's to the extent that 1.5 million Afghan men at any given time, because people go in and out of, of prison, are missing from their communities. And in St. Louis, it's so bad that there are only 66 Afghan men for every 100 Afghan women in the community. There's also the issue of lack of ac access to quality health care, and that results in a severe difference in life expectancy. And not only is the life of a given Afghan person cut short, but then that's time for the family in terms of grieving, in terms of uh, all of the funeral expenses, and you know, difficulty getting time off work. And these are just two examples, the prison system and healthcare. And there's you know, so many other examples. Afghan people are just attacked on every single front. This is why it's so important for us to recognize as white people that not only do we owe reparations in the form of money for all of the stolen resources from Africa and Afghan people, the coal tan from the Congo, and also from the, the resources and the, the exploited labor of the black community in the U.S., we also owe reparations in the form of our time, whatever we can do as much as we are able to do. One of the ways you can volunteer is by joining the Uhuru NTU Volunteer Brigade for the Black Power Blueprint. Go to blackpowerblueprint.org to sign up. There is a beautiful future to be had in which no one lives at the expense of anyone else, and we can all just be human beings instead of the oppressor and the oppressed, instead of the gentrifier and the gentrified, instead of the colonizer and the colonized. We can live in a different future, we can make a different future. And I just want to appreciate all of you for watching. I really want to express my appreciation for everyone who has been donating, everyone who has been sharing, subscribing. I really want to appreciate all of you for tuning in and for supporting this reparations challenge. Every episode has a goal of $50 in reparations. Please donate at uhurusolidarity.org and put in the comments that it is for Reparations Wednesdays. What questions do you have? Leave a comment. I have a lot of requests for different kinds of videos, and so I'll be getting to as many of those as I can get to. And Kristen Forthen asked me about cooking quinoa. And so I'll be showing that in next week's Reparations Wednesdays. Thank you for watching Reparations Wednesdays Cooking and Lifestyle Hacks with Jackson.